Hi, I'm Nick Smith from Airside Australia and I'll be presenting at this year's National Construction Equipment Convention in Sydney. Some of the applications in the civil construction industry for drones and digital engineering are things like aerial surveying or inspections of assets. One of the big parts about using drones on a construction site is the ability to quickly deploy the equipment, quickly gather the data and have actionable insightful data very quickly. Some of the safety and environmental benefits of using drones on a construction site. One is the ability to quickly get actionable data. So being able to see something or get access to somewhere without sending a person into that area, whether it be a, uh, close to a rock face or a cliff or whether it's you know, a deep excavation or something where you're really uncertain of what's going on. Being able to access a location quickly and have a look and see at the data means that we can make decisions a lot quicker. Some of the safety and environmental benefits of using drones on a construction site are really about the ease and speed of getting actionable quality data, especially when there are areas of the construction site that are hard to get to, uh, whether it be for a surveyor or, a, or even just an inspection or other things. It's a matter of getting quick and actionable, insightful data to be able to make decisions quickly and cost effectively. With the current shortage of experienced civil construction workers, drones provide a really exciting opportunity for the industry. It's generally a technology that can be utilised side by side with other technologies. So whether it's surveying, for use in surveying or inspections, we're able to uh, skill up existing workers to be able to operate this new piece of technology. So therefore, they're not operating drones on a day-to-day -day basis, but they might be pulling out the drone when they need to do a quick monthly calculation or where they need to have a quick look at a, a dump site. So it's a matter of being able to skill up additional workers and be able to make those workers have additional skill sets that you know, adapt to the new modern technology and the modern work environment. Drones are being used in the civil construction industry for a whole range of different applications already. The list of applications and companies using these technology is growing day by day. And what's really exciting is being able to see the real cost advantages or, or operational advantages of using this technology on work sites. And what I've found through our experience with different projects is just how quickly and how much companies and organisations save when using this type of technology. Whilst we've been operating drones commercially, we've been exposed to some really exciting and challenging opportunities on different projects. Uh, some of the projects, especially around civil construction, uh, have been really focused around the design phase. So being able to produce accurate and detailed 3D models and point clouds of areas prior to construction beginning means that we can get a really, uh, I guess, a virtual recreation of that site prior to any work being done. It means that we can save a lot of money in the design, the construction phase. Um, it means that the reduced surprises throughout the projects. Airside Australia has been really privileged to be exposed to some really exciting projects in the civil construction industry. Mostly centred around the design and planning phases, but also around the process of um, progress reporting. Being able to produce quick, fast and very accurate 3D models and point clouds at the beginning of a project allows the project planners and designers to be able to know exactly what is on the site prior to any tools being lifted there. And also being able to uh, produce regular 3D models that are detailed and accurate throughout regular intervals throughout the life of a project means that we can understand in a virtual perspective how and what's happening on a site, whether it's day to day, week to week or month to month. So the future of drone technology for us is really exciting. We've seen massive changes in the last six years whilst we've been uh, in the industry. From you know, very expensive and unreliable, big, heavy and dangerous equipment in the early days, we're using much smaller, lighter, faster and cheaper pieces of equipment to essentially capture the same, if not far, better information. So the amount of data that is now being captured is becoming the new problem. And this is something that through the uh, civil construction industry is going to pose the largest opportunity, but also the, the, the hardest, biggest barrier to entry. 
an example, 3D models of construction sites can be quite large to process, to store, and also to explore uh, and to work with. And what we're finding is that the future holds for this industry is, I guess, utilising the, the new technologies such as drones, but also you know, big data, the Internet of Things, um, as well as you know, elements of machine learning and artificial intelligence to start to automate and streamline the use of this technology uh, in the civil construction industry and how it will benefit is by automating and increasing the speed that quality insightful data can be delivered to the people on the ground who need to make decisions. Drones pose an immense opportunity for the civil construction industry and we look forward to discussing and presenting some of our ideas and thoughts at the upcoming NCEC conference in Sydney. For more information, visit ncecaustralia.com.au.